The Romans said the only good thing to come out of Britain were Colchester oysters. The town has been famous for them ever since and celebrates with an oyster feast which dates back to 1318. The oysters are grown just south of Colchester on the Essex coast. For centuries, the Howards have been harvesting them here on Mersey Island. My family's been growing oysters here since the mid-18th century. Um, and we've got evidence that my, however many times, grandfather it was in 1792, actually sailed to Billingsgate Market to deliver oysters. And every generation since then has been involved in it. The boats were sailing boats and everything was done by manual labour, hand hauling the dredges and that. Nowadays it is made easier by modern aids such as diesel engines and hydraulic winches and that, but the method is still the same. Every day you're dealing with the natural world which is ever changing and has changed over time. You've got to have a belief that this has come from somewhere and where else can it have come from but God, a supreme being. <laughs> Richard supplies oysters all over the country, but some are served up by his wife, Heather, at the family's quayside cafe known as The Shed. Well, The Shed is a shed, and originally it was a purification plant for the oysters. Richard brought The Shed several years ago and had this bright idea that oh, I would like to run it and sell fish and stuff. There was one window that opened onto the road, and I just had this, you know, we sold stuff out the window, which was only shrimps and cockles and stuff like that. People started coming and then word of mouth and it got a bit bigger and it's busy practically all the time now. Just rough and ready and I think a lot of people like that, they don't actually like to come in and you fuss them around them and put their napkins on their lap and, and plus I've sort of always allowed people to bring their own bread and their own wine, which they have done for years. For Heather, the shed is a way of putting her Christian faith into practice. Because we get so full up, I'll just put total strangers on the same table. And being a bit British, they were like, I could see, ooh. You know, but within five or 10 minutes, you'll have two couples sitting at the table, they're sharing their bread and sharing their drink, like communion and that, and they're all making friends. And I always think that's sort of a, my fellowship in a way. Yeah. In his church is a very nice stained glass window, which somebody had this idea of doing a stained glass window, more or less dedicated to like the fish and, and the oysters. And, you know, two or three people come up with the designs and they chose this one that's in the window now. They started a fund and a raise of money in that. And I said, well, for every oyster I sell, I'll put a penny in a pot. <laughs> so I did sort of things like that, you know. So in the end, Richard said, look, I'll tell you how many oysters you've had rather than you keep putting a penny in the pot. And a lot of different people give a lot of donations. Every time I look at it, I think it is so good. It's just such a, you know, when the sun's behind it, it's brilliant. And the church and the oysters and the fishing are all long-term parts of the community here.